a newspaper that you printed? She News? I've always been that girl. I'm her baby. You always talk about that. Hell yes. Let me stand up, honey. Oh. Bitch, you can never. You put all the shots in your face. It's Justin Diego back with another binge-worthy video. And today, y'all, we have to talk about part one of this shady Real Housewives of Atlanta season 15 reunion. Right. <laughs> now let's get into it. Cause yeah. period, it was too good. Yeah. Okay, we all watched the RHOA season 15 reunion, so we already know what's up. Well, actually, I have a confession, y'all. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but I always put off watching the reunion right away every season, and it's a mess. A part of me feels like I just don't be wanting the season to be over, and the other part of me just be so tired. I, like, literally barely make it to the finish line <laughs> every season, and by the time I do, I'm just ready to go on vacation. But for y'all, I pushed through, and I'm so glad I did. Apparently, the rumors of Bravo thinking about recasting the show were definitely floating around and I feel like it lit a fire under everybody's behind because they let us have it. I don't know if they even had time to do their little introductions this year. Y'all know how Andy be like, oh, hey Sheree, you look lovely. Is that a new nose? And oh, hey Candy, how's everything at the OLG? Is everybody safe? No, no shoot. Okay, right. Y'all know how it goes, but did they even do that this year? You gotta get your lick back. All I know is this time, they got right into some things with Sheree Whitfield launching a full-on attack against Candy Burris that had me on the edge of my seat. If you wanna cover me, come with the I real. Know, you you, you can sit with me, honey. Y'all, I always thought that Candy and Sheree were like actually real friends in real life, so it's wild to me to see how much their friendship has completely fallen apart this season. And it's especially shocking to see how hard that Sheree Whitfield really be going against Candy. I mean, yeah, Candy is doing a little something, but she's not really doing too much. It's all coming from Sheba Sheree. So what? Why do you bother with Sheba Sheree? Who put my them nasty ass, ass toys in your water. restaurant? Wait a damn minute. <laughs> and speaking of the she brand, Sheree left us all shook when she pulled out one of the funniest and most iconic receipts ever when she debuted She News at the season 15 reunion. Is this a newspaper that you printed? She News? I wish you would print some fashion. I don't know who has been helping her with her reads this season and her receipts this year, but baby, She News is iconic. I hate that it seems to be like almost all about candy because I love me some candy, but y'all, it was so good. And the camera just couldn't get enough of zooming in on that shady She News newspaper. And it's like they wanted us to see every shady article about candy. Wait a minute. Is it just me? Why my eye keep doing it? Y'all, they got my eye looking like... Let me just close it, because y'all ain't finna have me looking like Courtney. Anyways... Uh, <laughs> before we get into more... Before we get into more drama... I think this will be the perfect time for me to tell you guys about today's sponsor. Scentbird is a fragrant subscription service that lets you choose from over 600 brands, including some of the fancy ones like Prada, Gucci, and Versace. And y'all know I've worked with Scentbird a lot in the past and I've gotten so passionate about figuring out my new signature scent. I love that Scentbird lets you pick whatever designer fragrance you want to try every single month for just $17. And I recently received three scents and they all came in these cool perfume vials that lock and unlock really easily so you can open that thing up and see which fragrance you've been spraying the most. And I can confirm that they can last even more than 30 days because my favorite one basically carried me through the whole summer. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I got Modern Gentleman, which smells really, really good. And I pick up on some citrus peel, sage, ginger, and overall fancy vibes that would be perfect for a nice, sophisticated night out. I also got African Roibus by Chris Collins. And the coolest part is Cynthia Bailey recently shared that she actually wears this exact same fragrance as well. And she actually modeled with the creator of this fragrance, Chris Collins, back in the day. It was my Chris Collins. Cynthia Bailey. 
Yeah. And that definitely made it even more special. And it's clearly the one I use the most. Lastly, I got a really interesting scent um, that, um, it's called Sexual Secret Man by Michelle Gervain. And um, do I even really need to explain this one? Go ahead and tap the link in my description to check out Scentbird for yourself and use the code BINGEWORTHY55 to get 55% off at Scentbird. It'll be just a little over $7 for your very first month. And it's available all over the entire US and Canada. Thank you so much Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to the drama. And y'all already know the comments were off the chain with Housewives fans trying to decide who ate who up, hollering. Kimmy is way too humble than what she should be. She could have ended her and told her she could buy the whole Shiba Shire brand and sell it to her tags boutique and make more money than what she doing with it now. You ate that. Before Terrell and Jarius threw a little shade talking about Sheree won dot dot dot. And that's saying a lot about this cast and this reunion. Please bring Nene Leakes back. Does that sound like something you want? Yes. Well, let me tell you, you'll never get it. And another fan responding, Sheree would have ate if she didn't seem so angry and mad. So Katie won just because she got her out of character with the let's take this ill emojis. <laughs> Before this one Candy fan was definitely stirring the pot commenting, I think Candy holds back because she's humble and don't practice before taping. Because if it was me, I would have just purchased the Shiba Shire trademark. Clap if you find it offensive, clap. And this last comment took me all the way out talking about it. Candy said, draw four, skip you, reverse back to me, uno, uno out. <laughs> I love it. Switching gears a little, we have to talk about how Marlo Hampton didn't do too much, but she was kind of eating the girls up so effortlessly at the same time. Now, I remember in the trailer when Kenya Moore served Marlo papers at the reunion, I was like, wait a minute. This is way too much. But if you actually watch the reunion, you already know that it kind of feel a little flat. Here is your subpoena because you have to, Ooh. can you hand that to her? Yeah, that was I don't want to go to jail. I know. So you can come and speak your piece. Y'all, ain't no way Kenya fumbled this potentially iconic moment like this. Well, I mean, it's blank. Oh, no, no, oh, it's then not. They printed, oh, then they <laughs> printed the wrong one. Okay. <laughs> Andy and Candy was sitting over there hollering, and I couldn't do nothing but put my head down over here and secretly chuckle right along with them because, girl, what? I just hate that all my hard work has gone to waste. Now, we didn't hear too much from the friends of the show, but... When Courtney came out, she did give an update about how things are going with them clearing Marlo's record. It's going well, actually. It's yeah, yeah we're process. moving along in the process. And I just want to say, production, y'all are so shady for the way that y'all panned that camera right on over to Candy when Marlo brought Phaedra's name up. Phaedra even is helping as well. Oh, wow. Okay, they were sisters. Oh my God, it is so shady, but I'm kind of glad they did because if we were all there, you already know that we all would have turned our heads together to look at Candy whenever we heard Phaedra's name. You can stop saying that shit. I know that. I ain't sure you're the right one for right me. One for Didn't I see you involved? Nah. Nobody do it like this. Nah. Pandora bag, lucky charm that wrist. This is real life. I need someone that. Nah, wait a minute. You need someone that. I'm really not mad at the way that this reunion played out, y'all. I feel like rent was due, and the girls were definitely not trying to get their peaches snatched, and that made for some really good TV. It was, like, <laughs> so good. And it looks like we'll get even deeper into Drusadora and her messy divorce in part two, and y'all already know that I will be right here, tuned in, and ready to spill the tea. You're shocked? Comment right now and tell me what you guys think about all this. Do you think that Bravo's alleged decision to completely reboot Real Housewives of Atlanta is the right move? Or do you think that this season 15 reunion might have saved our girls? 
Also, let me know what you guys think about this candy and charade beef that's gotten completely out of control. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. And thanks again, Scentbird, for sponsoring today's video. Y'all go ahead and check out the link in the description box below so that you can start smelling fresh today. All right, thanks again for watching. I will see y'all shady news. No, actually, shady she news contributors on the next one. <laughs> Not a shady news. You gotta have the she. She news. All right. <laughs> I'm separate.